Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Spirit to Dowsey. I'm Dowsey LeMay. Thank you to all you beautiful souls, brothers, sisters, and soul family out there for joining me wherever you are in the world. I appreciate it. So uh, today is the day after the election here in the U.S., and we are left in somewhat of a limbo, uh, in a holding space after uh, what it seems to be a very highly contested election. And so I wanted just to talk about that energetically and what that could be playing out for you individually that's being mirrored back from the collective, and hopefully it helps you. So before I go any further, know that these are my truths, my experiences. They don't have to be yours. Use your own discernment, take what resonates with you, and leave the rest. Okay. So what transpired over last night's election events is we're left with a highly contested um, election. In my opinion, and my guess is that it's likely going to go into the Supreme Court and that will be decided then. So I'm going to reference my November energy update video that references the idea that we are going through a battle conflict energy. And a lot of a lot of what's being brought out by this battle that we just had is the idea that the deepest darkest shadowy aspects of us the traumas that we do not want to feel and we do not want to see is being brought about and so what happens is that we had this battle we brought this energy in and it was brought up and then what happened we were stuck in now we're stuck in a holding pattern you're placed into basically a detox container with that energy that's now for um, right up at the forefront and you're holding on to it and you're basically like what do I do with this energy? How do I get rid of this energy? And you don't know what to do. And so this is what I want to talk about. The reason why a lot of this is coming up, in my particular opinion, is because you as a creator and you as other co-creators have created a situation where you drew out the deepest aspects of you through a conflict, a battle conflict, uh, and now you're placed in a detox container. And with nowhere to go, no, nowhere to hide, nowhere to give that energy out and out as an outlet, you're stuck with that energy. So that means you have to look at that energy. You are in limbo, you are in a waiting pattern holding this energy and it's, it's forefront right now. So take the opportunity to look at that energy, right? What is that energy about? Why are you holding on to it? What is it referencing? What is it about you? What, what happened about, uh, in your past that has caused this energy to come up as well? Right. Another question you got to ask yourself, especially in regards to this election, right? It almost feels like you are like the child in the middle of a divorce. You're dealing with the emotional, mental, energetic um, fallout from your divorcing parents, right? You are the one who has to decide how to move forward with it. And so what I ask you in this question is, why, why are you in limbo? Why do you have to be in a waiting center or a waiting place? to decide on how you want to move forward. Okay, that's a, that's a big question to ask because many of us are probably holding on to this disempowered state where you are believing that the only way you can get move forward in this country or move forward in your own life is through the illusion that somebody else uh, um, can do it for you, right? It needs someone else to have the clear choice for you to be able to take a deep breath and say, ah, oh, we have victory and I can move forward, etc. That is an illusion in my particular opinion. And so in this holding space where you're holding on to this energy and you feel like you can't get forward and you definitely can't get clarity at the moment, which is what I said in my, in my November energy update, is that you're not gonna get clarity. You're not gonna get guidance on the outside. So what that means is that through this experience, through this expression of energy and that which is coming up, you are going to need to look at that energy and to heal through your heart and through self-love the aspects to you that is coming up. You got to integrate that energy because that is how you're going to get guidance through healing yourself and finding the love and trust and inner intuition within yourself is how you're going to be able to go forward. And through that space, you no longer need to hold out for external things to give you guidance. You can be the one to take the embodied, empowered choice of saying, this is the vision I want for the world by embodying it and leading by example. This is how I want the world to be by, um, by, by, by energetically holding that energy and making decisions and taking action with that energy and broadcasting that out into our world. That's where your power comes from. So what you look at is in this holding pattern, you have to ask yourself this question, why can't I have my victory? Why can't I have my success? Why can't I break free from um, um, during this place 
What is holding me back from doing that? And the chances are it's because you are waiting on someone else's vision. You yourself don't have a vision for yourself and what you want going forward or what you want for this country because you are waiting on someone else to come with that vision. And that's not going to happen. It's time for you to envision that. It's time for you to take on that power, empowerment, and, and embody that vision as you go forward. Part of the reason why we can't do that, or many of us in the collective can't do that, is because so many of you guys are so discontent with your life. You've got blinders on or you've got lenses on you that are restricting or limiting your ability to see the benefit of uh, the see the the abundance in your life, to see the joy and the love in your life. You are not able to see that because you're focused on maybe things that are external to you or that your life isn't good enough or whatever. You're focused on external stuff that has that has um, blinded your view, that has limited your perspective. And you may even have a little bit of greed or jealousy around other things, right? Or you're just saying the, the world isn't going the way it should be. But in fact, the, the likelihood is that your in particular world, your specific personal world is probably going pretty good. It's just that your lenses on this is way off and you need to relook at that so that you can find joy and gratitude and love in your life and that will change your perspective on that. And very much like I would say a protective mother over um, a, her nest of eggs, right? It could be a snake, it could be any animal, but just imagine a mother being extremely protective of these eggs uh, that she's holding on to. And in, in this case, let's say it's a snake coiled around the eggs. And those eggs are a metaphor for the traumas that you're holding on to, the belief systems, the limited belief systems that you have, and the disempowered beliefs that you're holding on to. And you're, you're holding on to these things that no longer serve you. And because you are so uh, uh, tightly gripped to these attachments, you aren't finding your own ability to move forward. You're not finding the victory and success that you need because of your attachments, because of your traumas that you aren't willing to look at, because you're holding on to them so tightly, and because of all these other things I talk about, you can't, you're not, you're not finding the guidance and the, the empowerment to move forward. So this is definitely a holding space for all of us to kind of say, what is it that's being brought up? Why can't you find your own power to move forward? Why are you relating? Why are you, why are you um, being dependent on what happens out here. It's time for you to empower this energy of how the world, um, how the world, how you want the world to move forward. No longer um, uh, um, disempowered by illusions of candidates saying that they're going to create the change for you. So we, as the children of this divorcing kind of experience, need to deal this with ourselves, and to do that really requires us to heal the traumas, to be in the heart, to love ourselves, to give self-love to ourselves, so that we can expend, extend that energy and love and compassion to other people and to release a lot of these beliefs, these, release a lot of these traumas so that we can find guidance within ourselves. And when you do that, you can take action, you can take the day, you can take every um, each day one at a time, and as you embody that energy, your vision of what the world uh, the way you want this world to be will unfold, right? So I hope that helps you. I know that this is probably going to be a super confusing time for many of us. And my two cents is that this will probably likely go to the uh, Supreme Court and um, a clear winner will be decided at that time. And so if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. Feel free at spiritualdowsity at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram, follow, uh, Facebook, or better yet, subscribe to me on my YouTube channel at Spiritual Dowsity. I love you. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.